Get into excellence. A few practical things you can do. Always look for practicality. Remember, brain is standing for danger every five seconds. Can we stop doing that? But instead, pounce on success. So, get into excellence. A few practical things we can do. Always look for practical things, right? Our, our gut feel and our natural tendency is to pounce when we see failure. If I see Venura doing something wrong, my natural tendency is pounce. Venura, you saw that? Why did you do that? Can we stop doing that, but instead pounce on success? As soon as you see someone by doing something right, wonderful, great. Now, listen carefully. Can you bring identifying, appreciating, celebrating success into your process? Because then it will happen. Whenever I remember, I will appreciate people. It may happen, but mostly it may not happen, right? Because we are wired to look for the mistakes. Why are we wired, why are we wired for, uh, to look for the mistakes? Survival, right? Because we are always thinking it could be a threat to me, a threat to me, a threat to me, a threat to me. Yeah? So, defensive mode, right? Remember, brain is scanning for danger every five seconds. Is there a threat? Is there a threat? Is there a threat? So, that's, that's why we are ready to pounce on failure. Because let's say Achilles having his sales team of I don't know how to say, 100 or something, right? If you see a mistake one of those guys is doing, you're thinking danger because I won't be able to achieve my 1 million. <laughs> if I don't achieve, my job is at stake. Therefore, you're, you're tuned for the danger. You're looking out, there's a danger, there's a danger, there's a danger. So we are ready to pounce on people who make a mistake, right? And therefore, we don't appreciate the good things, the successes. It doesn't happen naturally. That's why I'm saying build it into the process. What do you do? Jump on channel, channel, and saw that awesome work. What just happened? What made you do that? I saw how happy that customer was. What did you tell the customer? Why am I doing that? I am reinforcing what happened. So Chanel internalizes it. Which means there is more chance that he is going to replicate that. Which means there are more incidences of success for us. For Chanel, for me. So when we highlight, we can refine it, we anchor it in that person's mind, this is what happened, and we recreate. This is learning.